Yo guys, we have got 997 subs at the time of filming this video. So make sure you guys are subscribing so we can hit that all important girthy 1000 subs. Peace. For today's video, I've decided to do a quick review on who I think wins between Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor. They are fighting for the undisputed lightweight title with all the titles and I think the ring magazine as well. Okay, um, BoxRec have Katie Taylor listed as number one in the world and they have Amanda Serrano listed as number two in the world. Katie Taylor is originally from R Ireland from the Republic of Ireland, sorry. Um, and Amanda Serrano is originally from Puerto Rico, but currently lives in Brooklyn, United States of America. Okay, um, some more information about them. Uh, Amanda Serrano is a former seven weight division world champion. That is, I think, the record for females. She's got the female record for the most world titles in the most weight divisions. Katie Taylor is a, I think a two-way undisputed champion, I think, I think so, yeah, I think super feather and lightweight. Um, Katie Taylor at recent um, performances, not even recent performances, during her career, there's been a lot of fights where people have gone, you know what, I think Katie's been beaten, but Katie's got the decision. From what I remember of Katie in the amateurs, she's, she's a lot older than me, but um, I remember hearing of her name. People were saying there's a female who's absolutely amazing. She would probably be, probably beat most men, was what they were saying back then. Um, we're going back like 15 years. Yeah, about 15, 12 years from when people were saying that. They were saying that she was a standout athlete, a standout boxer, and she was amazing. Um, Amanda Serrano I didn't know much obviously growing up about because I wasn't a well female boxing wasn't as advertised as it is now so I didn't know much about her but Rack Noble who's my um, strength movement and agility coach he's um, educated me in how good she is and how great she can be in the ring um, so the fans are in for a big, big fight. The boxing um, public are in for a big fight. The the hardcore are in for a big fight, and the purists are in for a big fight. How do I think? Who do I think wins? How and why? Um, personally, I think based on the way Katie Taylor's been performing recently, I don't think she is as good as she was when she was in the amateurs. She's a um, an Olympic gold medalist. Um, a great, great, great athlete um a great advocate for irish boxing in general not just female boxing she's the face i would say of, of female boxing in europe i would say easy definitely um she's she's a great she's a great boxer um but i think personally she went pro too late too late in terms of um her being in her prime being fresh being um able to compete at top level for a long time she obviously went pro i believe at the right time based on markability based on the fact that um she wouldn't have got as good of a deal if she didn't get these olympic goals and uh she went pro before this time but you know obviously congratulations to her um but i think she's past her prime if that makes sense i wouldn't be surprised if after this fight she actually retires as for Amanda Serrano, they're, I think they're both around the same age. I think Serrano's a little younger, actually. But, um, yeah, Serrano's um, a very, obviously, an amazing box. You don't get seven world titles and seven weight divisions if you ain't one of the best out there. Um, uh, but what I would say is, and this is no disrespect to female boxing, I believe it's easier to win a world title. Um, I, and a lot of our world titles didn't happen in the last couple years they were like spread out so um when she was winning some of these world titles i'm not trying to have, be disrespectful towards her or our opponents but i would say the quality of our position may not have been as good as what they are today because obviously female boxing is booming it's um more out there and there's more females in the professional game um 
and means obviously with more more females taking up and doing it it means the quality of our positions going to increase so i don't think the the seven weight division that serrano's done will be beaten um but it's an amazing accomplishment but i don't think it's as good as what it is based on the quality of our positions that have been there um based on the actual fight let, let's look at some measurements they're both well Katie Taylor's five foot five, Amanda Serrano's five foot five and a half. That's an extra half an inch of a length. And now I'm pretty sure both girls, if um they was asked, um, would you prefer something that's half an inch lengthier, they would both say yeah. So or even half an inch girthier, they would both say yeah. So I would say that's definitely favouring um Amanda. They're both boxers, not brawlers. Um, I believe that that extra bit of a length will help. Um, I just think personally, um, I think Amanda beats her. I think Amanda's uh, the best, I wouldn't say the best school boxer, but I would say the best schooled professional boxer. Katie Taylor, obviously you can't say isn't a, a, a great schooled fighter. She's an exceptional school fighter. You don't win Olympic goals if you're not. But I just think um, Amanda's just going to have a little bit too much for her. I think she's going to win by about three or four rounds i think but it will be difficult to get a decision against someone like katie taylor so i'm gonna say it will be about maybe one or two rounds in it on paper but i think serrano wins probably in a split decision format but yeah i'm gonna side with serrano and i'm siding with serrano a lot because of rack noble who trains me he's told me to check this lady out and he's saying she's the real deal and that is her name she is the real deal that's her alias and let's let's see if she performs let's see if she let's see if she really is the real deal and she beats katie taylor because if she does i believe pound for pound she would be the quote which is the greatest woman of all time and uh you know we'll have to see we'll have to see let me let me know in the comments guys what you guys think do you think um, Amanda Serrano beats Katie Taylor or do you think Katie Taylor beats Amanda Serrano let me know who you think wins how and why and um, let me know what sorts of stuff you want me to discuss in these um, like these these sorts of it, stuff I do on the channel let me know what you want me to talk about uh, that's it from the prince peace